Innovation is the cornerstone of success in America. In order to compete in the global marketplace, businesses and individuals are continuously striving to stay ahead of the game. I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, from emerging technologies and financial strategies to the latest healthcare developments, you would be surprised by the many factors coming into play. Welcome to Today in America. Finding a green solution to the nation's energy needs is essential to a cleaner environment. Let's take a look at an idea that's going green. As demand for diesel and gasoline increases and supplies grow scarce, more and more people are converting to compressed natural gas, or CNG. Natural gas is the only economically feasible fuel that can help with the transition to new technologies. In response to high fuel prices and environmental concerns, CNG is already being used in pickup trucks, buses, and trains. Vocational Energy is in the business of constructing CNG stations. We're a general engineering contractor, but we also offer consulting services, maintenance and operation training, and really help our customers through the whole process of, of design and implementation. Our typical fleet that we service has a fleet size of 15 to up to 3,000 vehicles. Natural gas is one of the cleanest forms of fuel available for transportation today. An average vehicle will reduce tailpipe emissions by up to 23% and have a carbon footprint reduction of 40%. An average garbage truck like the one behind me will have a carbon footprint reduction versus diesel fuel or gasoline of 77,000 pounds per year. Compressed natural gas is a domestic product, as 98% of CNG sold in the U.S. comes from North America. Well, in addition to the environmental benefits, the vehicles run quieter, they're easier to maintain, there's no diesel smell, the fuel costs substantially less, and they're even easier to fuel. We burn 35 gallons a day per vehicle at a dollar to a dollar fifty savings per gallon. That's ten to fifteen thousand per year, which on a hundred truck fleet ends up being a million to a million and a half. You put in 1.2 in the infrastructure, you can see the math works. Aside from federal incentive programs, which encourage alternative fuels by providing federal tax credits between $32,000 and $50,000, there are other reasons why converting to natural gas makes sense. While it's true that early versions of natural gas engines were underpowered, today's engines have become much simpler and lighter than gas and diesel, requiring less maintenance. The cost of switching from traditional fuels to natural gas are initially high, $8,000 for cars, $12,000 for pickups, and about $40,000 for large trucks. Well, it all comes down to what the equipment manufacturers want to sell and market. The high demand of, of fuel on a large fleet vehicle typically makes it the most desirable because, one, they have a lot of space to put the large CNG tanks on, and two, they get the most return on investment. So most investment money has been spent on large vehicle fleet conversions. Vocational energy takes every challenge that exists with converting to natural gas and finds a way to solve it, helping clients understand what options they have with vehicles. For example, the company may buy a client's whole inventory of fleet vehicles so they can use the money towards the purchase of new vehicles or pair them with companies that sell used garbage trucks and fleet vehicles. Well, converting to CNG requires capital for not only the fueling station, but the vehicles cost a little more. The fueling station for 15 trucks runs about $600,000. It's about $1.6 million for 100 trucks. But when you can save 40 to 70 percent in fuel costs, it's the right decision, not only financially, but from many perspectives. There are over 785 CNG stations in operation throughout the U.S. Many of them are private stations, but arrangements can be made with owners to purchase gas from them. Drivers who use natural gas can visit www.cngprices.com for a list of all stations in the U.S. and Canada. You have to get behind the movement to put your vehicles on natural gas, especially a large fleet owner. It's really good for our country to do so. If we used natural gas vehicles, we would create hundreds of thousands of new high-paying jobs here in the U.S.